Joshua 3, 8b. Kavo Achem, Ad Katze Me Hayardain. Bayardain Ta Amodu. We have K at the front of this word, which means like or as. I'm going to take as here in the temporal sense because of the nature of what's being said. As you are coming unto the edge of of the waters of the Jordan. At the Jordan you will stand. Ka voachem. This comes from the word uh, with the root letters Beit Vav Aleph. It's a hollow because the middle root letter is a Vav or a Yod which tends to fall out as it does here. So we call it a hollow. Now, in this case, we have a kal infinitive construct, and it has a pronominal suffix, namely a 2mp. So, we have you all, speaking of the priests who are carrying the Ark of the Covenant. And at the front of this word, there's a k, an attached preposition, like or as, but again, because it's um, when you come to the edge of the waters of the Jordan. Take that temporally. Ta'amodu. This comes from Ain, Mame, Dalit, to stand. And though it has a patak under the prefix pronoun, it is not a sign of a hifio, in spite of that. Uh, rather, the patak is assimilated because of the strong guttural Ain. So this is a kal, imperfect 2MP. Uh, same subject, the priests. So here we have a speech that is basically the Lord God telling Joshua what to say. So here's, um, you will command them and you will say, and then we hear the Lord tell Joshua what to say to the priests as they're carrying the Ark of the Covenant a very specific instructions. This is an intentional event, and so they have to stop and stand when they get to the edge of the waters of the Jordan.